Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President, Research and Development, Pivotal, Ansi Fakari. Good morning and welcome to Spring One. Hey. At Pivotal, our mission is to transform how the world builds software. At the heart of this mission is a simple idea, to help developers deliver value and code to customers and get feedback from that code and learn. And as you learn, you get to deliver new value, changing your product, adapting it, adjusting it to delight your customers. This is rapid iteration. It's in our DNA to enable rapid iteration. And there's lots of pieces to it. Developers need to be able to rapidly change their code. They need to ship that code to production, and they need to get feedback. And in modern enterprise companies, they need to do that in collaboration with the operations team. At Pivotal, we help you focus on continuously delivering value by making this cycle as efficient as possible. We do it with Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Pivotal Cloud Foundry is a collection of abstractions. The Pivotal application service, the best place to run Spring applications, the Pivotal container service built on Kubernetes, and the Pivotal marketplace, where a collection of Pivotal and partner services give you the tools you need to do the work you need to do. All of this is powered by the automation of Bosch. Operators love Bosch. With Bosch, they get to deploy all of these pieces across multiple clouds, whether on-premise or in the cloud. And just a small handful of operators can manage a platform that services the needs of hundreds of developers, enabling those developers to push code to production again and again and again. That is how we enable rapid iteration. You're going to get to hear from lots of customers this week, tell you the story of how this has helped them transform how they build software. Now, we've been doing this for a while. And what we've learned is that organizations scale as they scale, and as time goes by, Complexity begins to set in. And there's nothing like complexity to begin to erode at rapid iteration. This can really suck. But on top of that, we all inhabit this exciting open source ecosystem. And it's moving super fast. It can be pretty daunting. It's lots of questions. Is stuff ready? Is it stable? And how do we actually get it to production? This is its own source of complexity. And it all compounds to make the problem worse. Well, we want to help. And the way we help is by constantly evolving our product to help you manage complexity, by always building and curating the best of open source into the product so that you can focus on what you need to focus on, delivering value. Let me show you how with our latest version, PCF 2.3. So operators, operators love Cloud Foundry. It, it, it makes a lot of things possible. And what we've learned is that or, as organizations scale, they end up, for many good reasons, needing to run in many different Cloud Foundry foundations. And as we've been listening for feedback from folks, we've learned that it can be challenging to observe and monitor all of those foundations. It can be challenging to keep all of those foundations up to date. This becomes its own source of complexity. And we want to help. So let me tell you what we're doing. There's lots of moving pieces to Cloud Foundry. And so we built HealthWatch to help you keep an eye on it. HealthWatch is this beautiful dashboard that gives you visibility into Cloud Foundry. And operators love it. But as we've done our user research, as our designers have talked to our users, we've learned that even this is a bit too much. It's pretty complicated. And so I'm pleased to introduce this new version of HealthWatch, this nice, elegant dashboard. It distills the essence of monitoring PCF to deliver focused, actionable alerts so you know what you need to do and when you need to do it. And with simpler monitoring, comes the ability to have multi-foundation monitoring. And so coming soon is a version of HealthWatch that will plug into all of your foundations and tell you at a glance how they're doing. And that's how we're solving the monitoring problem. Well, what about upgrades? Bosch makes automatic updates of complex distributed systems possible. But even with all the automation of Bosch, there is some amount of toil, and it does take some amount of time. And when you've got lots of foundations, that can add up and generate complexity. Well, we built Concourse internally to help us test drive and develop Cloud Foundry itself. Concourse is powerful CI for distributed systems. And we've, we've had lots of customers using Concourse to manage their foundations at scale. But we've been getting feedback that these pipelines can be complex to maintain. 
And so we're working on a, a new set of tools called platform automation, configurable, maintainable concourse building blocks to unleash the power of concourse to manage all of your foundations. Now, every time we push a release, concourse will automatically update all of your foundations. And this is huge. And it's huge because we ship a security patch every six days on average. And we want to change the conversation from how do we patch all these things, which is super complicated, into a much simpler conversation. The thing automatically patches itself. That's how we're unlocking the power of Cloud Foundry and helping you manage complexity. And we're doing it all so that developers can focus on delivering value. Developers love Cloud Foundry. It takes all the complexity of pushing code to production and reduces it down to a single command, CF push. But as we have lots of foundations and lots of developers pushing lots of microservices, all interconnected, complexity begins to rear its ugly head again. And we want to help you manage that. And so we're building and curating the best of open source and bringing Spinnaker and Concourse together to help developers wrangle all of this complexity. And you'll get to hear a lot more about this uh, at John Schneider's keynote. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. All right, let me tell you more about what's in PCF 2.3. As I shared, one of the things we do is help you wrangle open source. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about uh, the concept of service mesh, technologies like Istio and Envoy. This makes a great promise, sophisticated application networking driven by configuration, not code. That's awesome. But it's still early days. What we've been doing is incrementally bringing in the best of these communities' ecosystems into Cloud Foundry. And so in PCF 2.3, I want to give you an example. We now enable mutual TLS all the way down to your application. In fact, we'll automatically rotate your app certificate every day. You don't have to worry about it. It's an incredibly strong security posture. But how do you roll something like this out? You've got thousands of apps already running. How do you enable a feature like this? Isn't that super complicated? Well, no. We've made it seamless. We've been bringing our customers on a journey in the last few versions with no downtime to enable this functionality. And this is what we do. We help you navigate complex evolutions seamlessly. And this is at the heart of our security story. We want to make sure that all your mission-critical workloads are patched. And so with the latest version of PCF, we're shipping the latest LTS Ubuntu, Xenial, and we're making that seamless. And because we have industry-leading Windows containerization, we're doing the same thing with our Windows workloads. We're bringing you the latest Windows Server 18.03, and that's also going to be seamless. And we take care of all of this, again, so you can focus on delivering value. And we have all of these abstractions to help you do that. So far, I've talked about the application server and, and Bosch. Let me tell you about our services marketplace. Our services marketplace is a rich ecosystem of first and third party services. Among our first party services are Rabbit, uh, MySQL, and Pivotal Cloud Cache, powered by our Gemfire product. Now, these are all platform managed on demand services, whether on premise or off premise. If a developer needs a Rabbit cluster or a MySQL cluster or a Cloud Cache cluster, they can get it on demand. And the earlier versions of these were pretty complicated, but we've been working really hard to make them simpler and simpler as we learn and get feedback. And so for example, coming soon to Rabbit, we're taking the guesswork out of configuration by giving you use case specific plans. If you have an IoT use case, there's a Rabbit configuration for that. We'll help you get it easy. We're, making, we're giving you simpler cluster management for MySQL with improved failover automation, and we're making it easier to secure Pivotal Cloud Cache with TLS support and credential rotation baked right in. Those are our first party services. The marketplace is also a rich ecosystem of third party integrations. And so I'm pleased to announce that um, Amazon is bringing the AWS service broker to the market. This will help you connect your applications running on Cloud Foundry to Amazon's rich service catalog, over 18 services. All of this so that you can focus on delivering value. So that leaves us with the Pivotal Container Service, PKS. PKS is something we're building in partnership with VMware. It takes the best of open source, building and curating Kubernetes, and couples it with uh, the simplicity of Bosch to help you manage the complexity of running fleets of Kubernetes clusters. And we're pleased to announce that with PKS 1.2, you will be able to automatically, seamlessly upgrade your clusters to Kubernetes 1.11. And it's shipping with AWS support, and we've got Azure support coming soon. Now, we're really excited about PKS because it gives us a new dial tone to deliver more value that you need to deliver uh, value to your customers. And so we're building the Pivotal Function Service on top of PKS. Uh, Pivotal Function Service is going to be built using Knative, a project that we're collaborating on with Google 
And you're gonna get to hear a lot more about this today. So stay tuned for Mark Chamarni's keynote and for Mark Fisher's keynote and demo. In addition to the function service, we're bringing Greenplum to PKS. Greenplum is Postgres for petabytes. And the same easy to use experience that developers enjoy in PCF today is gonna to be extended to the data scientist and to the data engineer. You can learn more about the automation of Greenplum on top of PKS by going to Jamesh Patel's breakout demo. And lastly, uh, our ISV ecosystem is super excited about PKS. Uh, at last spring one in December, we announced eight partners. This has now ballooned. We've got lots of folks really interested in bringing their workloads to the platform on top of PKS. All of these pieces enable you to focus on delivering value. And the way developers deliver value is by writing code. And what better place to write code than with Spring? Spring is a beautiful, powerful, open source community. But we know that it can be hard, if you're an outsider, to enter into a community. And so we, we want to make that easier. We want to open up the doors. And so I'm pleased to introduce the first timers only issues on the Spring Boot repo. We're making it easy for, for newcomers to the Spring community to get connected. As you work on these issues, we'll come alongside you, help you, coach you, teach you how to contribute it back. And as you do, you get to become a part of the Spring community. Um, so there's more, more about this coming soon, so stay tuned for that, uh, because we believe that we can build and curate the best of open source together by opening up the doors of our community. Now, there's a lot going on at Spring 1 platform related to Spring. We're going to tell you about Spring Framework 5.1, Spring Tools 4, Spring Cloud Azure, Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.7. So stay tuned for all of that. Lots of announcements this week. But again, all of this, all of this comes together to help you move fast. But what happens as an organization scales and you end up with lots of fast-moving developers? Well, it's really, really easy to get misaligned. And when you're misaligned, it's really easy to ship the wrong thing, which is terrible. This in of itself is a form of organizational complexity, complexity that can impede rapid iteration. And we want to root all that sort of complexity out. And so I'm pleased to introduce the Pivotal Tracker Maestro project. We're working on a tool to help teams articulate and align around business outcomes, to give organizations the higher level view so that they can ensure that everyone is aligned in delivering value. If you want to learn more, you can go to Lisa, Adrian, and Jeanette's breakout session. So whether it's planning your code, writing your code, or running your code, we're your partner on the journey. We take the best of open source and bake it right in. And when complexity emerges, we root it out so that you can go fast forever and attain rapid iteration. And that is how we're transforming how the world builds software. Thank you very much.